What's up? Welcome to my crib. Just got settled into our uh, our little studio. It's actually pretty sick. Take a look. Uh, got our bed, bathroom over there. My brother behind the camera was the first one to christen it. TSA always manhandles my bag. See, I know you went in there. It'll be just like a, a minute long clip of me trying to put a chain on a bike. I finally made it through. I need something backwards, Aiden. Oh my gosh. So I had to take it back through because my brother made me second guess myself that I was on backwards. Shit. Why is it so short? <laughs> a few moments later. What's the final steps, bro? Pedals. That's it. <laughs> But your mechanic can do that. Magic. Let's get a hand check after that one. You got soft hands, brother. Got the banana in the pocket, got the sandwiches. Gotta change the clothes. We're ready to go to Windrock, maybe. Go. Let a guy finish his trail mix in peace. <laughs> oh, word. <laughs> Jensen, let's see those back muscles. It's steep. It's going to get wild in the rain tomorrow. This is such a sick section. Leave it alone. Yep. All right, we're here with Max Bopri. Tell us about your adventure the past few months. So it's been a pretty gnarly couple of months getting uh, the new shuttle road ready, all the new infrastructure, the new shop, as you can kind of see here. So it's been quite the endeavor, but we had just crested success. We're getting the weekend rolling. The shuttle trucks are in route on the new road. So hopefully all goes well. Thanks, Max. No worries, boss. Like, Hold on, way over me, brother. It's about practice time. I'd say two years ago today, me at this venue. The last time I told myself I'm never racing here ever again. Um, that's changed. I'm in a good mood this morning. I'm ready to slide around. Just gotta uh, get mobile. Excited. Just excited to move the body. Excited to scare myself a little bit. Excited to slide. That thing will not be that color by the time I get a lap done. Here we go. You missed the, you missed it? You going pee pee? Yeah, I was going pee. Okay, not bad. Oh. Ah. Hit my pinky on that tree. I know. I knew I, I knew I'd be like, the race day coming in that fast is gonna be so pretty nice. tight. Oh my god. <laughs>
That was good. My goal today was like not to risk it and just to get down, memorize all the tracks, kind of like look at points like that I'd like to hit when it gets drier. Done sliding around uh, and I'm gonna end it safely. Clear bay. All right, we're here with Jacob Snow. Tell us how your day was today. It was good, just sliding around a little bit. Tell yeah. us about your new program. New program's good, Just team just launched today. Um, stoked on it, I got Nick, Justin, and Kaylee, so it's pretty sweet, but um, bikes are dialed and just a whole new setup this year, so it's taking a little bit to get used to, but it's looking good so far. Stoked for you. Sweet. process. Dude, after that, the roots, I went full sideways. Right after. Fresh jersey ripped already. Day two. It's beautiful. Hopefully it's dried out a little bit from yesterday. I'm watch out. I'm gonna watch my surroundings this morning. What do you think of that riding, bro? Get real blown out there in a couple of ends. <laughs> the kooks are out on track today. No good. It is so good today. There, it is still slippery in some areas, which is okay. Because if the sun stays out like this till tomorrow, it's going to be bone dry. And that's what we like. Right now, it's like hero dirt. You can literally commit to every single corner and have no problem with traction. It, it's so amazing. Like that run was so much fun. I stopped midway because I didn't buckle my helmet and like the, the strap was distracting me. And then I, I stopped at this rock double that I wanted to do. I'll show it to you right here on GoPro. It was so sick. Doesn't do it any justice. But for my brother behind the camera, he's, he walked it with me and he saw it. And it's, it's pretty legit, because you have to land so perfectly on the backside of this rock that has like maybe this much of a landing into a flat right-hander. So it, it was actually pretty cool to land it. That was a long day. It was hot today. It was really hot, but I had so much fun. Um, tomorrow is going to be so good. The conditions dried out tremendously, which is nice because I kind of felt like myself again. I'm stoking. Uh, it's going to be a good day. I'm really excited. Um, we're coming for that win. This is how it's done the night before the race. Got the got the Supercross set up. Let's pause that so we can show you guys what we got going on here. It's race day, baby! Woo! What you got, Jake? Uh, we learned about edging last night. <laughs> First question, this is interviewing Jensen Chapin. Oh no. Uh, uh, Chapin boy number two. Question number one. What is it? Shoot it. What are the different species of trout native to this land? Native to this land? There actually are no trout native to this land. Um, you're rocking with uh, the warmer temperature fish, such as bass, bluegill, pike, stuff like that. Um, no trout in this area. Incorrect. There are <laughs> trout in this area. <laughs> Our local fly guy doesn't know shit. No, sir. Back to you. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. I think, uh, I think it's dried out a lot from yesterday, or at least I'm hoping so. At least that's how I'm gonna go into the, the first couple corners.
That was a good day of racing. So excited to finish the day. There's a few things I can uh, talk about later when I get off my bike. But at the end of the stage right now, I'm reflecting on the day and it's it's been a great day. Had some had some mishaps, which is unfortunate, but stoked on how today went. Oh yeah, it would have been way up where nobody's at. <laughs> how was your day, bro? It was good. Short day, but my legs are tired for some reason. I'm the electrolytes, dude. I'm you bonked. Guys could ride this Three hour ride, I'm bonked. Oh, but it was good. Uh, yeah. Battle, yeah. Time to tie it, so it was fun. Yeah. How was my day? Today we sh right? <laughs> the very first two corners, I didn't have a break for some reason. I don't know what it is. I'm working on it, but it went to go pull in. It was no excuses, whatever. I tried to go fast. And I made some mistakes after, like, I don't know, probably four minutes in, bottom stage. Um, but yeah, kept her on two. First, first uh, race of the year on the new bike and equipment. Trying to get used to everything still. Um, but yeah, I, I guess it was a solid weekend. Um, not bad for a white guy. So, yeah. so you got $400 for second place. 400 bucks. What do you plan on spending that uh, $400 on? Strippers. All right, Jay Killer, tell us how your day was today. <laughs> We're here. We, we finished the day. We're in good spirits. Didn't make the podium. That's okay. Um, stage one went phenomenal. I think I got seventh on that stage, but I felt really good. It was a great way to start the day. Brought some confidence back in. I just needed to get it done. Um, Stage two came along. I had a really good attitude, so much confidence going into it because I rode that one a couple of times and I was I was digging that one. I wanted to win that stage. I uh, came into the first corner up top and hit a tree. As I hit the tree and got wrapped up in it, it wasn't a big tree, it was a little tree, so it didn't take me down. But as I got wrapped up in it, I think somehow chain came off after I, uh, after I wrapped myself up around that tree, came down into the super fast section, went to pedal and there was nothing there. Um, I looked down in disbelief and unfortunately my chain came off so I had to do, I had to do a four minute run um, with my chain off so I couldn't pedal. That was super unfortunate and so went into stages three and four pretty angry and uh, I wanted to win those stages and, and so far the results say I won both those stages which I'm super stoked on. That just shows me that um, the speed's there, just, just got to tweak some things here and there going into the rest of the year and I'm stoked on it. I, despite the result, I think which is seventh place on the weekend, um, I have really good spirits leaving here. I'm super confident uh, going into the rest of the year. Bike setup is just about where I want it, which is perfect. And that was that was really the goal this weekend: just go out here, have fun, see what I need to change, see what I need to do differently going into the actual race season. And we accomplished that this weekend. So I'm stoked. Thank you guys for all joining me on my journey, and uh, we'll see you at the next race.